So your business needs a new IT support provider. Without technical knowledge, how do you choose one? Do you just choose one on price? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the nine areas that you should be looking at when choosing an IT support provider. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. And yes, I do own an IT support provider, but I promise in this video, I won't be biased. Choosing an IT support company must be quite difficult because the service isn't tangible. I own an IT company and sometimes when I'm sat with prospects who are buying our services, I find it quite difficult to communicate how we differ from other support companies. I liken this a little bit to SEO, search engine optimization. My business buys SEO and sometimes finding the right SEO company can be difficult because I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm sure that's what our customers think when they're looking for IT support. The biggest thing people want to know when they contact us is just the price. They ring up and say, I want to cost for IT support. And then what they do is they might get three or four proposals and they'll choose the cheapest or the middle one. But when you choose an IT company, there's so much more to it than cost alone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the nine questions that you should be asking when you're choosing an IT support company for your business. So without further ado, get yourself a cup of tea and let's get stuck in. The first thing you need to consider are service levels. How quickly will your IT problems be fixed once you report them? These are known as service level agreements or SLAs for short and all IT companies should have them. These SLAs will dictate how quickly the IT company will respond to the issues and how quickly they will resolve the issues that occur within your business. You need to then compare those SLAs to your business requirements. Let's look at an example. You might have a, an application that is critical to the running of your business. You can't do without that application for more than three or four hours. So the SLAs have to match that. The IT company will guarantee to fix that application within four hours. That is a perfect match. If the service levels are out of whack, then it's gonna to lead to frustration with your IT provider. The next thing to consider when choosing the perfect IT provider for your business is the size of the IT team that you're gonna be working with. Now, an IT company can be too small for your business, but on the other side of it, an IT company can be too big for your business. What do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. There's nothing wrong with working with one-man IT companies, but what happens when that person is sick or needs a holiday? Perhaps on that day, you have a major IT issue. Do you just wait until that person is back? That represents a huge risk to your business. So you should always look at choosing an IT company with enough members of staff to support your business. Now, an IT company can also be too big. So if you look at an IT company with perhaps 50 members of staff, their ideal target market will be companies with maybe 500 or 600 members of staff. So if you've got a business with 60, 70 computers, you'll be one of their smaller businesses and you might not have a good customer service experience. So when choosing the size of your IT support company, don't go too small, but don't go too big either. When you're looking for the perfect IT company, the next thing you need to look at is can they offer on-site support to your office in a timely manner? Now, lots of IT problems are solved remotely. I know my IT company solves about 95% of all the issues remotely. We can do that today with the technology that we have. But there are times when we can't do it remotely and we need to go and come to your office to have a look at the problem. So when you're looking for an IT company, you've got to make sure that they've got engineers who can visit your office when needed in a timely manner. There's nothing wrong with your IT company being in a different part of the country to where you are, but if that means they can't come to your office, that becomes a problem. So you've got to check, have you got engineers who can come to our office when they need them within a few hours? That's the next thing to remember when choosing an IT company. The next important aspect that you need to consider is experience in your sector. So when you're choosing an IT company, have they worked with companies who operate in the same sector as you? My IT company specializes in supporting customers who work in professional services. 
We look after a lot of accountants and a lot of law firms. This isn't a marketing tactic, this is just 15 years of working with lots of different accountants and lots of different law firms. Why does this matter? Well, we know all the applications that these accountants use. So when we get a new accountant, we already know what applications they use and we know what the pain points are. That means we can deliver better service more quickly. So when you're looking for an IT company, you have to ask them, what other companies have you worked with in our sector? The next question that you need to be asking any would-be IT providers is all about training and cybersecurity. How often do they train their team and how do they protect their own business against cybersecurity? You want to be dealing with engineers who are technically trained. It means that your business IT problems are going to be fixed quicker. You also need to be asking the IT company how they're protecting themselves against cybercrime. IT companies are also a target for cyber criminals. Lots of IT companies are selling cybersecurity services, but are they actually applying the same principles in their own businesses? Ask them those questions. The next thing to consider when choosing the perfect IT support service is what additional services does the IT provider offer other than IT support? Now you might be thinking, well, what other services do I need? Surely I just need IT support. Well, in my opinion, every business, no matter what size, needs much more than IT support. They need more than a number to call when they've got a problem. They need an experienced IT professional who can sit with them regularly and talk about strategy, talk about risks in technology, talk about how your business is going to grow, how it's going to achieve its goals, and how technology can play an important part of that. This is commonly known as a VCIO, so a Virtual Chief Information Officer. Your IT company should have a lot of experienced people who can act as your Virtual Chief Information Officer, and that should be included with your IT support. The next thing to consider when choosing the perfect IT provider is obviously cost. Cost is a huge factor. Now, an IT provider can be too expensive, but on the other side of it, an IT provider can be too cheap as well. My IT company often goes for new business, and sometimes we're told that we're 20, 30, or 40% more expensive than another proposal. The way I look at it is this. We've got the right number of engineers to be able to deliver a really good service. All those engineers are trained to a high standard. We invest a lot of money in software and tools to help keep our clients protected. If we compare that to perhaps a cheaper IT company, they might not have enough staff to be able to deliver a good service. And in busy times, the service might drop. The staff that they do have might not be very well trained and perhaps they don't invest a lot of money in tools to keep your business protected. So, of course, cost is important, but make sure you don't always go for the cheapest IT. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There are nine questions to ask would-be IT support providers. I look forward to seeing you again soon.